Hello, and uh, welcome to an edition of What's New Wednesday on a Wednesday, Black Friday edition. We're going to be closed tomorrow for Thanksgiving, but uh, we're going to reopen uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow, Friday at 9 a.m. Got some specials running, so check that out on our Facebook page. But uh, in the meantime, we have a lot of stuff. We've, done, we've got a lot of stuff from the last time that we did a What's New, and uh, I want to start right here. So we got in the, uh, the brand new um, version of the UTB. Uh, 18 Capra four wheel steering this time around, and uh, I think it comes with pretty big, meaty tires, all that sort of fun stuff. But rear steer that's the biggest thing about this one. Um, there you go, better shot of that sucker right there. I was going through ordering some stuff, and I saw that uh, there was a new FMS um, 24 skill out Land Rover Camel Trophy Edition, so it's got the the old camel logo there. Look at that. Is that even legal? It has to be legal, right? We got it, so whatever. Uh, the new base camp, the new version of the base camp from Axial. Um, main updates are the electronics and they redid the body a little bit, make it more, uh, I was told to make it less toy looking is what they said to me. So then you've got the uh, hot pink edition. <laughs> so the SCX24 base camp RTR, three different colors, they're only a hundred bucks. Um, and then they have a brand new one with a little bit different body on it. That's your uh, Lexus uh, GX470. That one's a little bit more money, but uh, yeah, another new body. So it's kind of cool to see these keep coming. I think, uh, I think small stuff's going to be kind of a big deal um, this season. It already seems that way with the, uh, the Groms and stuff, which I actually forgot to put out here, but we'll talk about those maybe next time. Um, this was pretty cool. The J Concepts toolbox. So it's like the uh, Plano lock jaws, except that J Concepts is making it now, and it's quite a bit different. Um, it's actually slightly taller. I have one. So it's slightly taller, and it has um, these screws that hold in your dividers so they don't always come out all the time. It's pretty cool. Um, this isn't necessarily new, but it's something that we've never had in the store before. So it's a uh, the uh, 59 Red Cat Lowrider, which is awesome. We actually special ordered one of these for somebody, and then I'm like, you know, we've never had those in before. Why don't we get those in? So brand spanking new today, Mini Max. We still have two left as of this recording. So I'm gonna guess that uh, we might not have any left tonight but there might be one left on Friday. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. We had a bunch, we had some pre-sales on them too, but uh, we had a bunch, we've already sold a bunch today. Posted that on Facebook and they're gone like that. So, 249 for this guy though. I mean, it, this, is, this is really cool. This is really, really cool. Um, I like the modular design. I think it's gonna be easier to work on. It has 10 scale electronics. It's got uh, 10 scale drive shafts. They're nice and beefy. Um, clipless body, Traxxas is doing that now pretty much standard. Yeah, we probably won't have any of these left when it comes to Black Friday. We'll see. Uh, Shelby Cobra, my first Mini Z. I guess it's not my first Mini Z, but it's first Mini Z. Either way, um, kind of a cool new body on that. These are only uh, 50 bucks, and they're a nice, cool toy for Black Friday Christmas shopping, in my opinion, especially for your young ones. Got the Jam and Jay Halsey Edition RC10. Uh, those have been out for about a couple weeks now, and, and uh, we sold out of our first batch. Got a second batch in. Um, just something cool to have. They just announced a team car today, so our uh, team associate keeps churning out those uh, those vintage edition cars, which is pretty cool, the re-releases. I think that's really neat. The Jado 4x4, this happened to come out just after we did our last uh, What's New video. Um, this is the first version to come out. There's going to be three different versions, I believe, a VXL and then a 4S version. This one's the Beale uh, 2S. You can only run two cells. Think of it like a um, like a backslash, like a, a, a two cell only four wheel drive backslash. But they didn't call it backslash, which would have been really cool if they did call it backslash. But they didn't call it backslash. They reused the name Jado. These have been very very popular. The uh, the 8XE ready to run and the 8XTE ready to run. Um, we actually. We, somebody wanted one of these and we, we ordered one. We didn't make them special order for it. We kind of did it as, as, uh, as just like, no, we're gonna get that in, even though we weren't going to. And we have been having a hard time actually keeping these in stock. I've actually driven both of these now and it's, it's actually 
really good value for your money. So if you're on the fence about getting into e-buggy racing and you want to not spend $1,500 on a kit and all the electronics to go with it, um, but you still want to have fun on a, like a Friday night or something like that, or maybe you got a big outdoor track somewhere um, around the country, and, and, and same thing, you, you know, you don't want to drop that that big coin on the on the kit and all the high scale electronics. I got to tell you, this is a really good value, really good bang for your buck right here. So, yeah, both of them. I've driven both. I think they're dialed. All right, now we got some little stuff for a little bit, RC stuff. So, um, got some new servos in. Got the Exalt. Uh, HP 1.2. So that is uh, what our 12 scale guys have been asking for. So we got that in. There's a brand new Savic servo that's out. Metal cased. Uh, super strong. What is that? <clears throat> 555 ounces of torque at 6 volt. 763 at, uh, at 8 volts. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Brand new Protec servos. These just came out. We got them in this week. We actually sold the other one I was going to include in this video. Um, but that's the 575, which is the uh, uh, just a, a, another low profile. And this one is 387 at 6 volt. And then there's the super low profile, or ultra. It's an even shorter servo. And it still has a good uh, 230 ounces of torque on it, all metal cased, all that good stuff. We got in the, uh, the brand new uh, XR10 Pro G3. Um, with all their cool new programming features in there, uh, the cool metal fan and the shroud in that one. Uh, we got in some really cool new um, uh, drag racing stuff. So some guys were asking for this Cobra, this Ghost RC brand uh, Cobra motor and speed controller. Uh, this one right here, this is a combo pack. It kind of sucks that they don't put the pictures of them on there, but that's a combo pack that all the guys have been asking for. For their mod mini bees, reflex 14s, um, even the Grom is what that's good for. We got in the uh, the Traxxas brushless power for the uh, TRX4M. That's a direct drop in, so you can just change it out and go brushless. Um, some tires. We got in uh, Dirt Web 2s and double bars, both in silver compound. These will work on our track uh, for the 8 scale crowd. And then the AK Luxes. Uh, some guys were down there testing that this last weekend. And they said that they were working really good, so thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this, I don't know, is this W fly? It has to be W fly because there's no other letter after the W, right? So uh, another new controller. Um, you know, we've carried the Noble now from uh, from Fly Sky, and uh, our other manager saw this and he's like, "I'm gonna get that in." So we got it in. We literally sold it like three hours later. This is the second one that we've had in. I haven't heard any feedback from the other guy, but it sounds like it's a uh, it's a good alternative to the more expensive radios. So, and the receivers are cheap. Um, Upgrade RC has these 17 millimeter hexes for the two wheel drive and four wheel drive slash. They're so if gone. you want to put 17s on them, which is all the way awesome. Then you have your uh, cartoon stuff. So series one and series two. When I first heard about these, I was specifically told to go after the series two stuff. I found it and I got them in. But I also got in the Series 1 stuff as well, so these are like little collectible die casts. It's pretty neat. Okay, let's go on to the toys, shall we? It's Christmas time, Black Friday on Friday, so this will be out before then. It'll be out tonight, which is the night before Thanksgiving. <clears throat> We've got in a lot of new stuff on that side of the store. Got some new paint by numbers, or art by numbers. Um, a lot of it is like... Um, uh, pop culture type stuff. So Harry Potter, Darth Vader, you can paint that. Isn't that neat? I thought that was pretty cool. Um, they had some Bob Ross ones and they've already gotten purchased. So I wasn't able to include those. Speaking of Bob Ross, we've got some lunch boxes here. We've got a Bob Ross lunch box and an ET lunch box with a nice little rainbow right there. Isn't that neat? I think that's pretty cool. Here's the thing guys. These are really, really neat, but, and I'm not dissing on them. They're, how much are these things? They're $15.99. So if they had the therm, the thermostat, the thermos, not thermostat, that's what we use to control. Yeah. But if they had the thermos in there, I think they'd be more than the $30 range. Yeah. So $15.99 and you got yourself an actual legit, um, lunchbox. So. I have a Fight Club lunchbox. That's one of my 
prized possessions. I got it from Suncoast Video in like 1990, I think. No, 2000, 2000. All right, here's some, um, Not I, you guys didn't need to know that, but whatever. <clears throat> I actually got it for as a Christmas present, if I remember right. I think my wife got it for me. Uh, we got some Transformers models, so Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Chi Chitor, Chitor. I don't even know who that is. There's other ones over there. I was looking for Megatron, I didn't see it, so whatever. Uh, okay, we've got some classic world stuff for the kids. Got a toucan guitar, natural wood. This is all actual, like, real wood stuff, too, so got a guitar with a toucan on it. That's why it's a toucan guitar. Actually works, though. I should buy that for myself, because I always want to learn how to play guitar, but I have a guitar. just never use it, because I don't know how to play it, and then I get embarrassed. My wife makes fun of me. Here's a tool belt for the little little dudes out there. How about a golf set? That's heavy. Isn't that neat? I think that's pretty neat. Is that the right side? Yeah, look at that. See? Got some glow art. There's a whole bunch of stuff in that side of the store, and I know some of it we've covered in previous What's New Wednesdays back in the day, but uh, we've got so much like fun toys and, and, and bits and pieces for all the kids and even kid adults like myself. Uh, okay, this one's kind of, kind of, kind of fun. Jabber ball and watch the little mouth right here. See it? Do you see it? It's sticking its tongue out at you. This is a dog toy in my opinion. Uh, Sasquatch. He's one of our uh, safari guys over there and I, I just brought this over because I thought this was cool you could buy this and then you could like put it somewhere in your house and then move it around every once in a while and you'll have Sasquatch sightings inside of your house like Bigfoot sightings you know I don't know it's a good idea uh, Palm Pals so there's uh, so these little stuffies right here so there's a uh, happy birthday cake there's a uh, doctor's oh, what is this this is uh, the Grinch's dog isn't it what do they name the Grinch's dog Max Max Max. So yeah, a little Max guy. Uh, there's some stretchies over there. Um, I know we've had like Stretch Armstrong back in the day, but this is a this is a sloth. It's a stretchy sloth. Look at that. Now it's a stretchy alien. Whoa! Oh, I'm choking it. Oh. <laughs> How about some Lego? Uh, I wanted to say backpack, but this isn't a backpack. That's a backpack. Oh, geez, these are lunch boxes. A Lego lunch box. Look at that. These, I think we just got these in. I don't think we can actually sell these until Friday. Um, but uh, they're in the video. So, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Here's a little Lego backpack. Which, I don't know if it, would this fit on me? I don't really care if it fits on me. I think we have this in blue and red. Um, but, uh... It's a Lego branded backpack because we're starting to get more and more cool Lego stuff in. Look at that. It has uh, extra pouches in there. That'd make a good make a good Merce. I could I could see that myself walking around with, with like a Merce. We're almost done, folks. I tried to find stuff funny, and we've already done enough poop jokes in these things that uh, I didn't really I didn't really have anything for us. Plus, we were really, really busy, and there's already people around, and they, they want to get in here, and we're trying to, like, hurry up. So the more I talk, the more they stare at me and want me to get done and all that good stuff. So we're down to two items. <clears throat> we have stuff like this. This is, um, this is an all-wood uh, music box, and it does three different um, tunes. So Jingle Bells, Deck the Halls, and We Wish You a Merry Christmas. And so it's Christmas-themed um, wooden I want to say wooden puzzle but it's more than that they have a whole bunch of that stuff but it's uh, not pre-cut you kind of got to punch it out um, we have a ton of this stuff and you know when we first got this stuff in a long long time ago I was like ah that won't last boy was I wrong we have like a whole aisle of that stuff now from like three or four different manufacturers so very very popular and that'd be a really cool thing to make and then put out for Christmas maybe on Christmas day or something like that Grow Life, Roker, and U-Gears, I think, are the main three. 
And finally, this was put over there last minute because this is also a brand new, brand new, 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 new uh, Lego set from your uh, Wednesday TV show. And uh, yeah, so more stuff like this is going to be in our store um, because our Lego section is a top priority. So yeah, it's Black Friday, Friday coming up and uh, it's going to be a good time here at the Plex. Got lots of stuff, we're loaded, ready to go. Um, all sorts of RC cars, planes, toys, Gundam, Lego, Hot Wheels. <laughs> Except for one treasure hunt that I found. Uh, there's uh, more die cast stuff over here. <laughs> Slot car sets, just so much stuff. So uh, it's worth your while. We're gonna have uh, some sales going on. Like I say, uh, find Hobbytown Hobbyplex, um, Hobbytown Omaha on Facebook. Uh, we made a post about what we got going on and, and check that out. And we've got 12 days of Christmas coming up where we're going to have a deal every day for the first 12 days. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Everything's going really good in the new store up here. It's clean. It's healthy. Everybody's loving it. We're having a really good time. So that's it for now. Make sure that uh, you guys subscribe, like, tell your friends and come in and buy some stuff. Okay. Come in and buy some stuff. And if you're not going to buy this stuff, the track's going to be open all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So just come in and use the track all weekend. That's cool too. We don't mind that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later.